guys and welcome back to Simi's Kitchen. Today on the menu we're going to fry up some chicken wings. And what you'll need are these seasonings. One egg or two. You have onion powder, black pepper, paprika. This is garlic, scallion, and allspice seasoning. And we have our all-purpose seasoning so for and flour of course for the flour mixture I'm gonna put um, all of these seasonings plus my um, Maggie all-purpose seasoning and I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon of this and in here I have um, two teaspoons of my unsalted all-purpose seasoning. I have a tea, two tablespoons of my unsalted all-purpose seasoning, a teaspoon of my paprika. Mine is uh, spicy. I have a half of a teaspoon of this because that's all I had left. I have um, a tablespoon of my onion powder and I have a uh, teaspoon of my black pepper and to this I'm also going to add some dried jerk seasoning okay so I'm going to put half of this half of all my seasoning I just have it in a bowl I'm going to put half of it on my chicken and the other half is going to go in my flour with the additional uh, tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning Give me a second, let me get this on there and coat it real good and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I forgot to tell you, I have my um, um, deep fryer. I have it warming up and that's set to 365. So just go ahead and follow whatever your direction says for your deep fryer. If you wanna cook it on the stove top, you can. You could cook it on um, a medium high heat. I wouldn't go too high because then your chicken is going to be cooked really fast. And you don't want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and season this up and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and seasoned up my chicken. And I have in here my um, tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning with my additional seasoning that I used on my chicken. So all I'm going to do now is for this step, you guys could um, do it in a separate bowl. You could use buttermilk. You could use whatever liquid you want to use to fry your chicken. Or you could go ahead and um, just fry it dry without any liquid. It's going to taste awesome anyway. The egg helps to crisp up your chicken. So for me, I don't take the time to go ahead and dip it and then dip it back in here. I'm not doing all of that. I'm just going to crack the egg and put it on there. I'm going to mix it up and it still comes out crunchy to the way I like it. But if you do want to go ahead and do it separately, please do so. Okay, you guys, this is what our chicken is looking like after I added my one egg to it. Like I said, you could use two eggs for this. You could use buttermilk. For this um however you would like to crisp up your chicken that you know best please go ahead and uh do so here i have my seasoning that i add and all i'm gonna do is just shake it give it a good shake mix around so all our seasoning get incorporated okay and i'll be right back so the next step i'm gonna do is drop my chicken wings in there and drop about um three or four in there. Yeah. Gonna go with four. And then I'm gonna shake it all up and I'm gonna get it in the air fryer, okay? 
Um, this is the jerk seasoning that I use. It's Ocheria Spicy Jerk Seasoning. Now, they also have a mild flavor. You don't have to use the spicy one um, if you don't want your chicken to be too spicy. And this is this is what it is. Okay. I will put a link uh, in the description um, for the seasoning. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shake up my chicken, get it all coated with my flour, drop them in the um, air fryer, and we're just going to repeat the process, okay? I'll see you guys back here in a bit. Okay, y'all, so this is what our chicken is looking like, um, coated with our flour. That's what it's looking like. Now you do want to shake off the excess flour off your chicken before you put it in your oil. And just be very careful um, when placing it in your oil. Take your time, just slowly uh, drop it in there. Not drop, slowly put it in there. And then um, once you got all, all of it in there like so, let go. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the air fryer and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I dropped my chicken in my air fryer, and as you can hear, it's going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my the rest of my chicken all coated up and drop them in a bag and get the rest of my chicken all coated up. And after that, um, I'm going to let the, ch the chicken wings go about um, 10 to 15 minutes. At the five minutes, I'm going to take it up and I'm going to flip it over because I want to make sure that they're um, fried really good. Then I'm going to put it back in and let it continue for the rest of the time. Okay. I'll see you back here in a bit. All right, you guys. Here's our chicken. Um, I let it cook for uh, about 12 minutes. I turned it over at the seven minute mark. And this is what our chicken is looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And thanks again. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to plate it up and let you guys see what it's, see how I uh, paired this all together. It's the final product, y'all. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And thank you so much for watching again. Really appreciate it. <laughs>